FDB Film Study is sponsored by Happy Valley United. To learn more about how you can support Penn State student athletes NIL opportunities, visit happyvalleyunited.com today. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another For the Bloggy. Today, we're going to talk about Abdul Carter. We're going to talk about his elite athleticism. We're going to talk about his growth as a true linebacker and not so much as a pass rusher. I really want to dive into what I think he does well, the keys. I want to talk about how he plays well in space. And let's talk about some of the bad things, things he needs to work on. Hey, you know the drill. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Let's do this. So we spent a lot of time last season showing you how Manny Diaz utilized Abdul Carter's athleticism. The man makes some freakish plays off the edge when Manny Diaz puts him on a blitz. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to kind of take out the whole pass rush snap. I want to see and get a good firm grasp on how Abdul Carter plays as a whole. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at his linebacker play in general, and we're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses. So against Michigan here, we're looking at number 11. He is in what we like to call a creeper blitz look. Now, he's running a creeper blitz look, and his objective is he's got to be able to read because he has the running back out of the backfield. So watch how he steps into the guard. He sees what's happening. He gets back over the top. This is a hard play for anybody to be able to see a down block and get over the top of this. I say this because what he's doing is he's reading the footwork of these guards. Now, this is a really hard thing to do, especially when you're attached to the line, but he makes a great read. He sees down block. He sees wrap around. He gets over the top. Okay. And what he does, he puts himself in a good situation to be able to make a play on the running back. I think he makes really good reads. I think he's really good at his eyesight and his keys. Man, this is a great play, especially for a freshman linebacker. Now, we're going to watch him playing this wheel back right here with a bunch of motions. Now, I'm super impressed with his key read here. Watch. He sees ML line of scrimmage blocked down. He sees the G block coming out his way. Watch how he steps up into it, and he builds the wall. Everyone has a gap. So right now, this defensive end has this gap. This D lineman has this gap. If an extra gap happens, he has to build the wall, which means he has to take the outside player, and the linebacker, 41, has to fit inside of this. This is how defenses work. Now, he does a fantastic job of building the wall right here, and holding strong, letting this linebacker get to his aiming point. Now, does he give some ground? Absolutely. But he's outweighed by a good 80 pounds to this guard right here. And so watch. Watch how he builds the wall. Gives a nice, strong base. I like his base. I like that he keeps his outside arm pretty free for the most part. But watch how he pulls himself back in late, knowing he has secondary help. This is a savvy football play by a savvy football player. Now, I know we got pancake. It doesn't matter what he does. He did his job. He makes the play bounce back inside. The play goes back in where all his help is at. And here comes the cavalry for help. Again, great key read. Love his stance. Love his ability to hold ground there. Now watch right here. He's playing this wheel backer again. I want you to see his reads. Eyes are in the back. He sees the run block fit. Watch how he sits inside. Understand how this works. When the motion comes across, he's in charge of this gap right here. Watch how he sits. Look how he holds the gap. This is impressive. So what happens in this situation is this. This linebacker has got to float to here. He's in charge of this gap here. Watch how he sits in the gap. He takes half the man. Watch the low dip of the shoulder, the rip, outside arm free. He squeezes his gap down so that the linebacker can get where he needs to be, and he actually gets his hand in for a fumble. That is an impressive football player for a linebacker at any level. This reminds me of the LeVar stuff where a guy could come in, he's getting motion, he changed his gap responsibility. He dips underneath a very good offensive lineman. He squeezes the play back down. He makes a good play. These are the things that make a linebacker great in the Big Ten. Not his pass rushing abilities, but his ability to read keys, get skinny, get in the box, and make a play. Okay, moving on to some Ohio State film. This play is purely here because I want you to see athleticism. Okay. So where is Abdul Carter? Abdul is sitting right here in a very long situation. 
Okay, we've got a third down, and it looks like about 16. So let's start this thing over. You know where Abdul Carter is. He's right here, okay? He is basically going to build the wall back in a cover three prevent defense. What's impressive to me, watch how he takes. He, he bails out. He sees nothing happening. He sees the leak late. He's looking for the crosser. Nothing there. He sees the takeoff. Now, to see all this grass, guys, this – is a lot of grass on a football field with an extremely impressive athlete at quarterback. Watch his ability to close the gap, and he still makes the play in space. I am beyond impressed with his ability to make a play in space against a top-tier athlete like they had at Ohio State here. He saves the play here. He saves this play because I can almost guarantee the corner is not going to make this play in space. All right, so now – we're going to talk about his ability to get skinny in the box again. Watch how he plays up in this. We're getting an eye offset eye formation. We're getting a double tight end look. We got a tight end, a wing, a fullback. Very heavy run look. Watch the zone that comes through. Watch them step down. You're getting zone, zone. He's zoning here. Watch him get skinny. Look what he does. This is a hard thing to do. He gets skinny. Look at that dip of the low shoulder right here. Look how he takes half the man. He blows the entire play up in the hole. And all of a sudden, now 41, the linebacker can come back and make this play because he shucks his, his center late. What's really impressive is watching this technique. Watch how he gets through. Look at the base that he holds here as he gets this low shoulder rip. His eyes never get off the backfield. I really am impressed by what he can do right there. Now let's talk about where he struggles a little bit. So Abdul struggles with outside gap, how his gap changes when you get pullers. So what happens? Okay, so you've got a gap responsible. You've got a gap responsible. You've got a wall builder. That means that Abdul is now what we like to call the fitter. So he sees this. He sees the pull late. This pull should have happened earlier. He should have seen this across his face. He should have pressed over the top. 43 would press into here. Now watch what happens. He floats over the top. He knows what's happening. But notice that he doesn't trigger down fast enough, and neither does the safety. So now you've got an open window with an offensive lineman, and nobody set this down to get across. I don't like how he waits. I don't like this. He shuffles, shuffles. His window was there. He should have made that. He should have pulled that trigger right now and got himself in that position. Again, to me, that's a young man's mistake. Okay. Now we're going to talk about Abdul Carter and some pass coverage stuff. This is Abdul Carter 101 against a skill kid. I think that Manny Diaz put him in a bad spot. He struggles in these man-to-man -man situations. Look, he opens himself up. Look how he opens. I don't like how he squares. He opens himself up. He gets his inside hand on like the man's going to run vertical. All right, look at the footwork. He's crossing his feet. His feet have crossed. He's now going to get himself in a bad position. He can't recover from this. Again, I don't think Abdul Carter's a man linebacker, but he definitely struggles. And he struggles for the couple things. Hands are in bad placement. All right, number two, I don't like the way his feet are flipping here. I don't like this at all. His feet flip, doesn't look good. He pushed himself out, okay, gets in a bad spot. But again, he's super athletic, so I can see why they feel like they should put him in the man-to-man. -man, but I don't think that's his wheelhouse at all. Here we go again. We're going to get some down looks. Now, it's very simple to see how this works. There's nobody outside, okay? So a couple of things you need to look at is you need to count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I count so that you know there's nobody outside this picture right here. So if we go back to our gap sound defense, without any movement, we know that this D lineman has this B gap. This DN has this C gap. This safety or corner has this D gap. So if anything gets pressed down, Abdul Carter has to get over the top, and he's got to build the wall. So here we go. We get down blocks. They're holding. He holds. Abdul's late. His eyes are in the backfield. He should have been looking at his key and getting over the top, building the wall to let 43 fit off of him. He's late. The fullback gets him. Now 43 can't get there. The wall never got built, and now you've got a free-running play to the end zone. I think about these plays a lot, and I think about how – if he stops looking in the backfield and finds his keys a little faster and not being inconsistent, he can get himself downhill and he can build that wall and this play wouldn't happen for Ohio State. Again, a freshman mistake. All right, 
So again, here we go. Here he is, number 11. We're looking at the will linebacker, meaning the weak side inside backer. Notice, all right, notice their gap exchanging. Gap exchanging, okay, on the back side. If the offensive tackle goes down, the defensive end is going to squeeze, and number 11 is going to come over the top. So they call it gap exchanging. You're now going to take this gap and squeeze, and you guys are going to exchange the gap together. And you can see that's what they're doing because you see number 44 feather, and you see 11 try to get back outside. All right. This is almost the exact same situation we were in before. You've got two guys crossing his face. He does a good job. Again, very good with a low dip rip. Gets himself in good position. But what he does is he doesn't keep his eyes on his target. His get, he gets lost. He should be fitting right off of this to make a play. That was his play to make. The defensive end is the one that's going to make this play down here. Defensive end has him. Abdul Carter has the quarterback. It's like option defense. He doesn't get himself in play because he doesn't, he's not consistent with where he needs to be and when he needs to be there. I think he could do a better job of this. Not really impressed with his ability to handle that. But again, technique stuff, he does a good job. That low dip rip is still super impressive. He doesn't actually get blocked by an offensive lineman. And so again, I think the potential's there. This is stuff that can be taught.